Make sure you guys a quick recipe idea, especially for my starving teenagers who come home starving like Marvin because your parents are still at work. Today we're making dinner with your mama's leftover rice. But first, we gotta look in her fridge to make sure she don't got no leftover veggies. We gotta make sure we get rid of those first. And you can also use whatever other veggies you like. But I'm gonna use what I had. So I'm gonna use one carrot, half a zucchini, half an onion, two garlic cloves, and I'm also gonna whisk up an egg. I'm just gonna put my pan on the stove, making sure that it's screaming hot. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil, two to three cups of the cooked rice, our onions, garlic, and then one tablespoon of butter then i give it a quick saute for about two minutes before making a little well and then adding our veggies we're gonna season them up with a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of sesame seed oil now if you don't have sesame seed oil you don't gotta add it now we add our egg season it up making sure that we cook it in the middle first before mixing everything together or else you're gonna have like scrambled rice and eggs i don't know and we finish it off with about a tablespoon or two of soy sauce salt and pepper we mix again and it's ready for the protein i'm gonna keep it super simple we're just gonna season up some garlic breast um uh, ma'am garlics don't have breasts you mean chicken breasts i add a scrambled egg to the chicken and then i coat it in some seasoned panko and that is it now this part is crucial guys when you're cooking your chicken make sure that the oil is not super hot or you're gonna burn the breadcrumbs before the chicken's even cooked cook it for about two to three minutes on both sides until they get nice and crispy while the chicken drains i'm gonna make a spicy mayo using equal parts mayo and sriracha now it's time to serve ourselves add your rice your chicken maybe a little bit of garnish drizzle it with some teriyaki sauce your spicy mayo and that's it you just made a fried rice with a crispy chicken katsu in less than 30 minutes hope you like this recipe bye Bye.